Do you want to know how you can advocate for Palestine from the comfort of your home? Well, since we couldn't get to hold our in-person Palestine Advocacy Day in March, due to the coronavirus pandemic, we are bringing Palestine Advocacy Day to you. American Muslims for Palestine presents its first ever virtual Palestine Advocacy Days from September 14th to the 18th. These days, we are witnessing historic support for Palestine on Capitol Hill. At the same time, the Palestinian cause has never been more threatened than by the current administration. As solidarity activists and supporters of Palestinian rights, there has never been a more critical time than now to build our political power and peace. Let me tell you what we've accomplished from 2015 until now. Hundreds of people from 32 states have attended Palestine Advocacy Day. Intensive training sessions were led by experts in political advocacy and Capitol Hill staffers. Over 345 meetings were conducted with congressional offices. Attendees leave Palestine Advocacy Day with a better understanding of how their government works and how they can advocate locally and nationally. This year, we have planned to make Virtual Palestine Advocacy Day our best pad yet. This is what we have in store for you. On day one, We'll have an intensive advocacy training session by experts in civic engagement, advocacy, and political organizing. On day two, we'll have a public plenary with members of Congress. On days three to five, we will have meetings with our representatives and senators. All of this for just ten dollars. I bet by now you're asking how can I be a part of the largest lobbying event for Palestine in the United States. Simply go to palestineadvocacy.com and claim your virtual seat at VPAC. And one more thing, you don't want to do this alone. Make sure to invite your family and friends. Can Palestine count on you?